Alrighty guys, welcome back to the shop. As some of y'all may have seen in my dagger build, the four jaw chuck on my lathe really isn't geared for smaller diameter work. The fine gentleman at littlemachineshop.com saw my plight and had pity on me. They sent me a small four inch three jaw chuck and a chuck adapter for my 1937 Atlas Craftsman lathe that has a one and a half by eight spindle. So this video is sponsored by littlemachineshop.com. The registration boss on the adapter needed to be modified in order to fit the recess on the back of the three jaw chuck. This is by design. This modification will be done on the lathe and is really a fun little turning project for newbies like myself. Step one is to remove my four jaw chuck and clean up the spindle threads. I'm not sure if this is taboo, but I engage the back gears in order to take the chuck off. Once the threads are nice and clean, I threaded the adapter plate onto the spindle. I went to the three jaw chuck and was having some issues measuring the recessed dimension accurately. In order to have a consistent measurement, I lightly scribed in a mark between two of the three holes and then one mark on the third hole. I measured 2.834 inches in between the two points and I planned on shooting for around one to two thousandths less than that. I gently approached this dimension and while I'm not showing it here, I frequently measure the adapter to make sure I wasn't overshooting my target. Once I had the registration boss to the right diameter, I faced the mounting surface, which will be meeting up with the chuck body. There's no doubt that I have a lot to learn here, but I was pretty pleased with the results of this machining. I achieved a diameter on the registration boss of around 2.832 inches, which is around two thousandths of an inch less than my recess measurement. I put a little bit of 20 weight oil onto these surfaces and then mated the adapter with the three jaw chuck. The holes on the adapter did already line up with the holes in the chuck, and the hardware was the right size. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to use Loctite here, so I erred on the side of caution. I did, however, get these things pretty darn snug, so I don't think they're going anywhere. This is what the whole assembly looks like after the adapter plate is attached to the chuck. I then threaded the chuck onto the lathe and actuated the jaws. I always thought three jaw chucks were a pretty neat piece of engineering, so I'm excited to have one on my lathe. I'm not sure if this first measurement really tells us anything, but the total runout of the chuck body itself was only around one thousandths of an inch. On a piece of rod, I was getting around four thousandths of an inch runout, which I think is within spec for three jaw chucks. To achieve a higher level of precision here, I think I would need to get a tool post grinder to dress off the chuck jaws. With that being said, I think this chuck is going to do a fine job for making finials and pommel nuts for my handmade custom knives. Here I'm just doing a little demo on a piece of quarter inch copper. This is the outside diameter of the Corby fasteners I generally use on full tang knives. However, I could also see this diameter being used as a finial on smaller hidden tang knives. In reality, this is likely the smallest diameter stock I'll be turning on this lathe. Like I said, I'm extremely excited to have this chuck on my lathe and I think it's really gonna upgrade my pommel nuts. Major thanks to the guys over there at littlemachineshop.com for sending me this chuck and continuing to support the work I do here on the channel. If y'all got something out of this video, please consider hitting that like button down below and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.